everyone. It is Monday afternoon, well, late afternoon, 5.39, and we just got back from the store. Actually, it's dark out. It's getting dark. And picked up a few more things. We'll just start off with the Charmin over here. We got the Ultra Strong Charmin. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that. Um, we got the Arm & Hammer Peroxicare toothpaste. The Baby Boomer potatoes, these little teeny potatoes. I got an acorn squash, some carrots, some shortbread cookies, and some Edwards Key Lime Pie. And we got some Advil PM and Aleve PM. Is that the same thing? I don't know. And Excedrin PM. They screwed up on my prescription of my sleeping pills. And so I won't be getting them for another two weeks. So I figured we'd try like all three of them because my husband takes the same thing. And so we didn't sleep at all last night. So I said, we're going to pick up some PM and see if we can get a good night's sleep tonight. So we got carrots, guillain pie, some Philly steak rolls, and some rotel, some tomato soup, some little salad shrimp. My husband's going to make some kind of dip with those. I don't know what he's doing. Um, Krispy Kreme Donuts now has a cake mix. Chocolate glaze. So we bought this to see if we could make donuts for ourselves. I think there might be a recipe. Let's see. Cake or cupcakes. Let's say. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to take out our deep fryer and see if we can just make regular donuts with that. I probably won't have the chocolate syrup on mine. And let's see, we got some of these great value stacked beef burrito dinners, family size. So it's about five servings. And it's got beef, rice, salsa, refried beans laid between corn tortillas and topped with cheese onions and roast beef and Swiss cheese and some more Swiss cheese and we got a flat cut corned beef brisket, toothbrush heads, I got myself some goodie bobby pins, some ground beef and a head of cabbage. Then they had these little tops and I like to wear these to bed, those little what are they, baseball shirts? They're called. This was only $4. So, and they're put out by Dan Skin. And I got myself a, what size is this? I like them big. I think this is an extra large. I'm not sure. Or a large. Oh, XXL. It doesn't look like an XXL. But um, anyways, I got this for bed just to wear or around the house, whatever, with a pair of sweats. So that's it. <coughs> My husband is taking out the pie, the key lamb pie. Um, but ooh, that looks good. And I still have my little roses from Valentine's Day. And my other ones here, I can put some water in those. Aren't those pretty? But um, some of them look like I need to peel off some of the um, the leaves on them. But they kept pretty good. And oh, we got some Chinese food too. This is just what we had left over. We took it home. Hi everyone. It is now Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon. It's 1245. And I am making corned beef. And I always get the flat cut. And this has been in since 8 o'clock this morning. And it's 12.46, so it's been in five hours. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta put in potatoes and carrots. I got these little potatoes from the Little Potato Company. They're called Baby Boomers. And then, oh, I keep forgetting I have these little sweet peppers I gotta use up. Um, and then I'm going to put carrots in and cut up an onion. Yeah, and I'm still in my bathrobe. Yeah, it's just one of those lazy Sundays. It finally made it up to 26 degrees. The driveway's all melted. And the snow is going down. Those 
snow banks were really high. And remember this snow on my front porch? It was up to here outside the window. And now it's down like below my windowsill. There's my little window box. Waiting for flowers to be planted in it. I'm surprised that doesn't have snow in it. And oh, my plant is out there. See those little planters on the railing? Um, the snow melted in those too. So that's a good sign. And oh, my garage roof out here. Oops. See the snow's melting off that too. I'm gonna dump these in to here. And I'll be right back. Oh, and I wanted to show you my flowers. They're still alive. I can't believe they're still alive. And so are these ones, too. Although, no, I think these ones could be thrown out. But they're still upright, I mean. You know how usually they'll flop over? And this is just a little bit of countertop decor. My husband likes to add his touch. Looks pretty in front of the flowers, though. I am going to finish doing my putting the potatoes and carrots in, but I just wanted to tell you, I am on a diet starting today. Now, it's weird that I would start on a Sunday, but I'm starting today, and I had two boiled eggs for lunch. That's all I've had today, because um, I don't eat breakfast. So I had two boiled eggs for lunch with just a little bit of pepper on them, um, cut up in a dish. You're going to hear my bird yakking in the background. I put in one onion, put in a bag of carrots and the potatoes, and I got some cabbage, and I only put in like one, two, three quarters of it. I'm just going to let that cook until dinner and just let it simmer. And then I'm going to clean up my mess. What else was I going to do? Oh, I need to clean out the refrigerator also. Just straighten up the kitchen a little bit. Look at her. She's such a little doll. Come here. Come here, you. Come here, baby. She's such a good girl, aren't you, Sophie? Oh, and Ripley's going to come over and say hello, too. The two kids. Huh? Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The two kids. Aren't you? He loves his spanking. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's such a good boy. You're such a good girl, Sophie, too. Yes, you are. Oh, 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 oh. So Sophie's getting too much attention, so he has to jump up on me. Oh, they're like two little kids. One has to make sure they get equal attention. Oh, okay. And throw this down the garbage disposal. I don't like keeping anything in my waste basket because after a few days, especially with cabbage, it will start to smell. Um, So, I can't believe that it actually made it up to 26 degrees, guys. It was 4 degrees when I woke up this morning. 4 outside. You know what? I'm going to save the rest of this cabbage. And I can make cabbage someday this week. Maybe just like a side dish. Well, I'm going to go clean out my refrigerator. And, um... I'll probably end up scrubbing the sink out too, and I'll be back. My sink is all clean. I used um, Barkeeper's Friend. Yeah, this one. That's what I use on my sink all the time. Here's all my trash, and my refrigerator is all clean. 
I threw away a ton of stuff, so it looks empty now. We just came from TJ Maxx and Sam's Club and Ulta, and I'll show you what I got when we get home. Right now we're filling up, we're getting gas. Sitco, here's the gas prices. In Maine, oh, I wanted to show you, these are the sunglasses that I got when I got my prescription glasses. I bought them at Sears. They have the vision center there. But the lady talked me into getting them. She kept saying, oh, those look so cute on you. Those are the, she probably wanted to get rid of them. Not anything I'd pick out on my own. It is Monday, 3.49 in the afternoon. Um, 36 degrees outside. We just get in from Augusta. And I just thought I'd do a little haul. We went to Sam's Club, TJ Maxx, and Alta. At Sam's Club, we got paper towels, Charmin, and some Folgers coffee, English muffins. Um, I bought two pillows, Allergy Shield, Sir to Perfect Sleeper. Because, I don't know, I have this one pillow that I'm sleeping on, and it's a down pillow. And the feathers keep poking their way through, and they stick into you. The little quills, machine wash, polyester fiber fill, allergy shield. Okay, and then, oh, I wanted to tell you guys about this. Um, if you have a Sam's near you, I took a sample of this last time I was there, and I tried it, and it works so good. It's the Members Mark Ultimate Clean Laundry Detergent. It's in the Fresh Clean scent, and it does 115 loads. Then we got, this is our favorite cheese. It's Swiss and American. It's like mixed together in a cheese and you get like three rows of sliced cheese. And then we got some grubbles. Grubbles. Corned beef. Um, flat cut. I always get the flat cut. Beef brisket. We had corned beef last night and it just was so good. And so we decided to get some more. And then my husband picked up some of these cinnamon raisin bagels and I got myself some wine Gascon is the brand and it's Melbeck and then if you swipe your card you get these free Mr. Clean magic erasers they have these little things throughout the store now but you can swipe your card and you get little freebies to try and then I got these jeans they are the brand Nine West, and they are the skinny ankle roll cuff, and that's what they look like. And I got a size eight. Um, I hope they're not too big. I'm between a six and an eight. I can bring them back if they're if they're not. And then I got these. They're like sweats, but they're the kind that just go like to the top of your calf and they have like ruching on the inside and on the outside is like just like this and they look really comfortable they're by Calvin Klein these were all from Sam's Club too you can't try things on there so it's like a hit or miss but they always have pretty good brands and then I got this sweatshirt from there and this is by Green Tea, I think. Green Tea. And it has like little stripes on it. And it's kind of like that washed look. And this is a medium. And it's like not really fleecy on the inside. But, um, and it has the back. See, like this, the front part doesn't have it, but all around the sides and the back have like the sweatshirt band and the cuffs of course have it and the back is longer than the front and I figured this is nice for like just kicking around and it will look cute with these just comfortable for around the house and then I stopped over at TJ Maxx and I got some Myers lemon dish soap and I thought this little container was so neat and it was $5.99 it was marked down to $4.50 it's quite a bit. It's just pretty. And then I got this. 
some Essie and it's got a little sheen to it and the name of this is Just Stitched. See it's got like a little a little shimmer to it. It's like a pink. $3.99. Then I stopped at Alpha and if you've been watching my videos you know that I have been wanting to get some nice perfume and oh I ruined the box I put a dent in my box oh well I got some sh cocoa by Chanel and I'll show you what it looks like okay while I was filming my camera cut out I ended up putting all our stuff away except for the stuff I have to bring downstairs but this is the cocoa by Chanel it smells so nice this is like my new favorite. I was on my way home one day and I had sprayed some of this on me when I was at Ulta and it smelled so good and I was kicking myself for not getting it. So I had my husband stop by while I ran in and got this today and I love it. Then I also bought one of these Shiseido eyelash curlers. It's the gunmetal one that everybody's talking about. It's supposed to be really good. And then I got some Buxom White Russian it's a really pretty color. Hold on, I'll just show you what it looks like. Actually, I put it on my wrist so you can see. And that's what color it is. It's really just like a like a pinky, peachy nude. But it's really pretty. Whoops. And then I got some of these Invisibubbles, they're called. They're like those little bungee cord things. And they're for your hair. You know, putting it up in a ponytail. Then I got some Essie just stitched and that's what color it is it has a little shimmer to it looks like it has a little bit of blue specks in the shimmer it's just like a baby pink and then she gave me some samples and I already took this one out of the box this is a buxom isn't that cute it's got a little applicator and that's the darker one there Oh my God, Colleen. Focus. All right, that's it there. It's like a darker, pinky nude, mauve color. And I like the Buxom because it's got that minty tingle when you put it on. I did my nails last night and I put on this other baby pink from Essie. And I don't even remember the name of it. All right. So that is it. Oh, and then she gave me, yeah, she gave me these two little samples. This one is Dolly, I believe. Yeah, this is Dolly. All right, there. Then I got a sample. She gave me a sample of Chance by Chanel. And it doesn't say what the scent is. I haven't tried it yet. It is now 535, and I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, Monday night evening and I'll talk to you all real soon. Take it easy guys. Bye